hope you're all doing great and staying healthy. Um, today we're going to be talking about something called time management. And this is something that's very important, especially now as we have lots of school online and we've got to get things done on our own accountability. Um, and we don't have teachers right there with us telling us to do things and get things done. I have a story that I'm gonna tell you that I heard from somebody else and I'm going to show you as I tell it. So uh, let's watch that real quick. Okay, so a teacher was in a classroom with her students with a jar of rocks, sand and water in an empty jar. She was doing a lesson on time management. So she began filling the jar in the middle with rocks, just like this one. When she couldn't fit any more rocks in there, she asked the class, is the jar full? And the class responded, yes ma'am, the jar is full. So the teacher grabbed the jar of sand and she began pouring it over into the empty jar or the jar that now has rocks in it so that it would seep through the cracks all the way down to the bottom and then fill it up to the tip top. When she couldn't pour any more sand, she asked the class, is the jar full? And the class said, yes, the jar is now full. So the teacher began pouring water into it very slowly so she doesn't spill it like Miss Elizabeth, so that it would seep through the sand and fill the jar even more. When she filled the jar so that it couldn't go any more, she asked the class, is the jar full? And the class said, yes, the jar is full now. So the teacher asked the students, what do you think that I was trying to illustrate with this lesson on time management? And then one of the children replied, you're trying to show us that no matter how busy we look, we can fit more things into our schedule if we try hard enough. The teacher said, no, not exactly. What I'm trying to show you is the importance of the order in which we put things into our schedule, not how much we put in there. All right, now that you've seen and heard the story, um, I want to explain it a little bit. In the story, let's pretend that the rocks represent the time that we spend on schoolwork and homework and things of that nature. And the sand can represent the time that we spend with family and friends and maybe doing some chores around the house and then the water, the little extra room that we have at the very end, that can be like our fun stuff that we do, that we watch TV or we play games, or we can just do kind of whatever we feel like, whatever we're in the mood for. Um, and the whole point of it is to show that we need to fill our time wisely. When you go through the things every day that you need to get done, that you need to do, you need to make sure that you do the important things first. All right, like the stonework. If the stones, were put in, let's say, after the sand, then it wouldn't have fit right. We wouldn't have gotten all the stones in there. So if you fill your time with a bunch of TV, so you watch TV all day long, and then it gets to the end of the day, you don't have any time for schoolwork, for your homework, and you have to go to bed. And then you get in trouble at school because you didn't do your homework. All right, do you see what I mean? We gotta prioritize things. We gotta make sure that we know what needs to get done first and most importantly. So we gotta make sure that we're getting stuff done in the right order. We gotta make sure we're putting those stones in first, then our sand, then our water, all right? Not sand, water, stones, or water, stones, sand, all right? Because it doesn't work any other way. We gotta learn what our priorities are, what our most important things are that day to get done, and then we gotta do those first. I also encourage you guys to write down the things that you gotta get done. It's really helpful when in the beginning of the day you write down today's to-do list, or even the night beforehand. Um, so that you can actually see what you have to do that day and you can even mark it off as you do it and you can get that sense of accomplishment and knowing that you're getting things done. On that note, again, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, hope you're staying healthy. Um, hang in there. We got this. <laughs> I miss you guys so much and I hope you have a great week and see you soon.